Hello and welcome back. In this video, we are going to discuss about dashboards in Microsoft Power BI. This specific dashboard that you see is a team management dashboard for their weekly performance. And here what we have is we have the activities for the week along with their percentage completed. Then we have the tree map chart where the duration of each activity is shown with the size of the box. Down here, we have the total percentage completed of all the activities for the week. In this donut chart in here, we have the names of each of our team members. On top of that, we have the total percentage completed for all the activities assigned to that specific team member. On the combo chart in here, as you can see, we have the number of activities assigned to each person. And besides that, with the line chart, we show the percentage completed for all the activities assigned to them. If you click any of the people in here, you will have the activities assigned to them and the percentage completed of all the activities assigned to them so you can better track their performance for the specific week or the specific time period. For your information, I imported this data from this Excel sheet where everything is not so much arranged and sorted. So in today's video, you're going to learn how to prepare such dynamic and good-looking dashboards in Microsoft Power BI. So let's get started. So this is the first screen that will appear before you when you open Microsoft Power BI. We have to import data from a supported type of data source into Microsoft Power BI. So in order to import the data, we'll go to get data from here. We can select from all of these types. For example, you have the SQL server, you have the CSV format in here, and we have the Excel workbook. Our data is located in an Excel workbook, so I'll click this one. So this is the data where the team assignments tracking sheet is located, and I'll select the Excel file and click open. So here are a number of sheets, out of which we will select specific ones. I will see what's located in calculations, so we will need this sheet, and besides that, we will need the tracking sheet. As you can see in here and on our previous sheet, we have some empty cells and some numbers which we don't know where do they come from, and our data is located exactly in this place, so we have to do a bit of cleaning. In order to clean our data, we'll go and click transform data. So in here, as you can see, we have to remove the first three rows. So what I will do is I will go to reduce rows, remove rows, and I'll select remove top rows. I'll select the first three rows from top and click OK. As you can see, those rows are deleted. Next thing is let's bring these to the headers here. For this purpose, I'll select use first row as headers and these will be converted as headers. We don't need this activity ID in here, so what I will do is I'll select this, go to Manage Columns, and I'll go to Remove Columns. Click Remove Columns, the column will be removed. Column 9 and Column 10, we also don't need them. So click them and press Delete, it will be deleted. I'll delete Column 10, and I will need the rest of them. I'll check if there are any null rows at the bottom. So what I will do is I'll remove these two. Again, I'll go to reduce rows, remove rows, remove bottom rows. I'll select only one row and click OK. So that row will be deleted. Next thing is I'll come to the calculations sheet and here we have some cleaning to do as well. So first of all, I'll remove the first four rows, go to reduce rows, remove rows, top from top I'll select the four and click OK. And from bottom, I'll have to delete the rows from 8 to 12. So there are five rows in total. I'll go to reduce rows, remove rows, remove bottom rows, write down five and click OK. And since this column is empty, we can select this and press delete. It will be deleted. And again, I have to delete this one as well, which I missed in previous cleaning. So I'll go to reduce rows, remove rows, remove top rows, and select row write down write down one and click OK. And next thing will be to convert these two to the headers, use first row as headers. And since these are percentages, I'll right click in here and go to change type and from here I'll select percentage. 
So now we are good to go and prepare our visualization. In order to do that, I'll click close and apply. So we have, so we have all the fields loaded in here. The first visualization will be a bar chart, which will show the activity name and its percentage completed. So first of all, I'll select a bar chart, and from here, I'll select activity name, and I will select the percentage completed. As you can see, the visualization is shown in here. There is only one thing wrong with this visualization, which is that the activities are sorted from the bigger number to the lower number. That's what we don't want. We would we would like to see activity number one, activity number two, in that order. So in order to do this, click these three dots in here. We'll go to sort access. We'll go to and select the activity name. From here, we'll make sure that the activity name is sorted from smaller to bigger. So we have activity 1.1 at the top here and so on. Next thing is these activities, which we do not need to represent on this visualization since they are the submission of these activities. You can either disappear them from the filters in here, for example, click this one, and from here we'll select all, and we will uncheck the activities. We don't need to be shown on the visualization, and it will be shown like this. On top of that, we don't want to see the x-axis label, the y-axis label, and the title in here. So click Format Your Visual, and from here we'll go to General, and from here we'll turn off the title. Next is to remove the labels from X and Y axis. So in here, as you can see, we have the activity name, which is very much clear that we have the activities in here. So these should be the activity names. So I'll go to visual from here, go to Y axis, and from down here, I'll turn off the title. From the X axis, since we will add data labels to these, we won't need either of the axis name or the number salt in the axis. For that purpose, I'll go to X axis, from here, I'll turn off the title, and besides that, I'll turn off the x-axis values as well. In order to add the data labels, we will turn on this. As you can see, some of the data labels are located inside end, and some of them are located outside end. In order to bring them to the same position, we'll go and select the position and select inside end. If you want to change the font or the size of these values, can go to values from here we can increase the size of the font or maybe make them bold and do whatever you like last but not least here is to change the color of these bars in order to change the color we will click the bars from here and select any color that we would like to see for our bars for example let's select this one our next visual is to add the tree map chart for our activity names and their durations so again, I'll click the tree map chart from here and I'll go and select activity name. And again, I'll select the duration of each activity. I'll make this a bit smaller in here. Again, if I don't want to see the title and make some adjustments to this chart, I'll go to format your visual. From here, I'll go to general and I'll turn off the title. And besides that, in the visual, we can change the colors. For example, let's select this color for this activity and in addition to that you can again use the filtering for example exclude the work package names from here we'll go to activity names select all and from here we will remove the work packages and this one that i missed in data cleaning so this will be done as well the next visual that we want to insert in here is the speedometer chart for the total percentage of activities completed in this week so I'll select the speedometer chart from here. I'll select the percentage of activities completed. As you can see in here, it shows 284%, which is the submission of all the percentages of activities completed. So from here, from value, I'll change the submission to average. This will show the 57%. Again, I want to turn off the title from here. I'll go to format your visual from here, general, turn off this. If you want to change the colors, again, you can go to visual from here, from the colors. We can fill the color. For example, let's select this color. Next, I will insert a donut chart for each person and their total percentage completed. So from visuals in here, I'll select a donut chart. For this donut chart, I'll have the name and the percentage completed. In here, I will turn off the legend. 
And as you can see the values in here, it shows the percentages, which I don't know what they are, but I'll change them to names of the people and the total percentage of activities they have completed. In general, I'll go and turn off the title from here. And from the data labels in here, I'll go to the data labels and I'll select the category and percent of total. So this will make a lot of sense. For example, the Vitaly has a share of 9.28% in the total. Chris has 35.23%. Ryan has 22.9% and so on. But the values, for example, you want to make them bold or maybe increase the size. You can do whatever you like with them. Our last chart will be a combo chart which will represent the number of activities and the percentage completed of the activities. So lastly, we should have a combo chart in here. I'll click the combo chart. In here, what I want to see is the name of the peoples to which the activities are assigned. So in here, what I will do is I'll drag the assigned to, to the x-axis. And besides that, I'll drag the activity name to the line in the y-axis. And I will drag the percentage completed to the column in the y-axis. So in here, as you can see, Ryan, Alex, and everyone, we have the total of number of activities assigned to them besides that we have the percentage completed by them. So now in here, if I go and click any of the people in here, the specific activities assigned to that person and the activities will be shown in here and the share is shown in here. Everything is shown fully, dynamically, and you can track and monitor your team's performance in a very efficient manner. If you like the content of the video, consider subscribing to this YouTube channel and following us on Instagram and LinkedIn. Thank you very much for watching.